It's a beautiful summer's morning, and Tijan is off on a new adventure. They say the prairies out west are a land of plenty, and the growing wheat stretches far and wide like the sea. That I've got to see for myself, thinks Tijan. And off he goes to take an early train. The westbound train? <laughs> Poor Tijan, you've missed it, see? What kind of a watch have you got? Stopped, I suppose. Or is it a watch at all? The station master teased Tijan. Try to be on time tomorrow, he said. Oh, yes? You just hold this and see. A little thing like being late doesn't bother Tijan. You just watch this. What? Is it possible? Stop! Stop, I tell you! Hey, young man, what's the idea of stopping the train? I'm on my way out west. I want to go harvesting. I was late back there, so I had to run to catch up with you. You ran from the last station back there? <laughs> well then, jump aboard. This is Tijan's first close look at a diesel. What a wonderful machine. Drive a diesel? How exciting. This is the accelerator, Tijan, and the brake is here to your left. Just a word or two of explanation and Tijan is all set to go. All aboard for the west, and another great adventure begins. It's simply wonderful. You just say the word and it obeys like magic. That's it, Tijan. Easy does it. No jolts and no bumps. It's all yours now. It's unbelievable. Tijan makes a good engineer. The hundreds of passengers comfortably seated in the long trail of coaches behind ride along safely and comfortably. What a big country Canada is, thought Tijan. It's a good thing we have trains to go from one part to another. Here comes a freight train. Quickly, the signal. That's it. The cars are loaded with grain and livestock and oil, bound for the markets of eastern Canada. Before reaching the west, we must cross Ontario. Ottawa, Chalk River, North Bay, Sudbury, White River. The train will take a whole day to get to the other side of this great province.
Just imagine, Le Verandry, De Grosilier, Radisson and other great explorers used to make this trip in simple canoes, crossing the deep lakes and paddling down the rapid and dangerous rivers. They pass many large and beautiful lakes. Tijan remembers from his geography class, the five great lakes are Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Superior, and Lake Michigan. Night has overtaken the train, and Tijan sleeps as it arrives in Port Arthur. Here, at the head of the Great Lakes, the grain from the west is stored in huge elevators and waiting to be loaded on ships and trains. Tijan is up with the sun and eager to take over the controls again. What a wonderful day. The green forests are now far behind, and everywhere around lies a great golden plain. Open your eyes, Tijan, big and wide, for here you are in the Golden West. One look and Tijan sees that the land is rich and the grain is ripe and ready for harvest. Why not get off right here and now? Tijan is sorry, though, to part with his good friend, the engineer, and the diesel that he drove. However, there will be other trips, he hopes. Goodbye, Tijan, and good luck. Goodbye, sir. Safe journey. Like a trail of silver light, the shining train continues on its way to the Rockies beyond the Great Plains. The city is interesting and inviting, but one must first find a job. Tijan is looking forward to working in the wheat fields. In the distance, he spots a garage where three farmers are standing around some enormous machines. Never before has he seen the likes. This machine is almost as big as a locomotive. He walks up and says to the big farmer, Sir, do you need a good man for the harvest? <laughs> yes, but I need a man, not a child. Well, are you able to lift that, says Tijan. It's too heavy for the farmer. Without any trouble, Tijan lifts the machine, which, according to the farmers, weighs at least one ton. For Tijan, this is light. The farmers are astonished. It's a miracle, they think. And, of course, the big farmer hires Tijan. And now to the fields. Let's get to work while the weather is fine. The harvest is already a little late.
Here, the land stretches as far as the eye can see. To harvest wheat, the farmer uses a great big machine called a combine. Tijan can hardly wait to see Mr. Fetterman's combine at work. Mr. Fetterman carefully explains how the combine works. The machine weighs several tons and costs a great deal of money. It gathers up the wheat and separates the grain from the straw. Tijan, full of wonderment, pays great attention and takes in everything the farmer says. Bill is afraid it will rain soon and wants to get this field of oats harvested as quickly as possible. But the more hurry, the less speed. Something generally goes wrong at a time like this and everything stops. Hey, what's wrong over there? The swather is out of order and the rain won't hold off much longer. Something had to happen, of course. Well, let's go and see what's wrong. It's exactly as the farmer thought. Hard luck. A piece of the swather is broken and now someone will have to go to town. And look at that sky getting darker and darker. The smell of thunder is in the air. Now is your chance, Tijan. You must save the crop at any cost. And you can do it. Bring me a scythe, said Tijan. A scythe, said the farmer. Yes, a scythe, and you'll see how we reap where I come from. Do you mean to tell me that this field can be cut with a scythe? You're out of your mind, young lad. No, Bill, wait. You'll see. The farmer, thinking it just as well to turn his misfortune into fun, brought Tijan a scythe and... But maybe he is serious. No, Tijan isn't joking. He's serious, all right. Tijan's arms work a thousand times faster than the Reaper, It beats all imagination. The farmers look on spellbound, wondering if it's really true. But watch him. He works better and better as he goes along. The more the clouds threaten, the faster Tijan works. Come what may, he'll save the crop. Right to the horizon, the field is laid bare in record time. It's going to pour down any minute, and there's still some grain to be gathered. Come on, let's go, quickly!
mounted on this mighty machine, Tijan feels like a king. He drives the combine like a born harvester. He's determined to outwit the storm. Hurry, Mr. Fetterman, we're full up. Sixty more bushels saved. One truck is scarcely enough. The bins are filling quickly. Tijan is happy. The clouds are about to burst, but the farmer is no longer afraid. His crop is now saved. All the wheat is gathered, the fields are reaped to stubble. But Tijan is never quite satisfied till all is finished. He wants to see the last load brought in. Tijan is untiring. It seems he can do anything and endure anything. Nothing is too hard for him. The bins are now packed with wheat. Tijan still works on at full speed. He wields a shovel with as much speed as a scythe. Like liquid gold, thousands of dollars worth of grain are drawn into the bins. Whoop! Ah, oh, that's nothing, Tisha. My grain is now safe. The whole crop is in and the storm has yet broken. can fall now for weeks if it likes. Mr. Fetterman's grain is safe and sound. Tijan has just achieved the most extraordinary exploit the farmers of the West ever heard of. He'll be spoken of among them for a long time. One square mile of grain reaped and harvested in less than a few hours by a boy of 10. It's hard to believe. Mr. Fetterman has never made so much profit on his harvest before. He would have given anything to keep Tijan with him on the farm, but Tijan, once the work is done, prefers to leave. All he asks is a small salary, just enough to be able to travel and go on visiting the rest of Canada. Tijan is paid in nice new bills. He 
is content. He can now head for Alberta and the Rockies and get to know more of his vast and beautiful homeland. The farmer has become very fond of Tijan. He looks on him almost as his own son. Yes, indeed, a magnificent pony. The finest animal on the farm and a shining saddle. Yes, Tijan, it's all for you. You've earned it. You couldn't give a gift which would please Tijan more. But it's time to go. Tijan feels a lump in his throat. He must leave these kind people. He can't find words to thank them. Goodbye, Mrs. Fetterman. Goodbye, Mr. Fetterman. The farmer and his wife are sorry to part with Tijan. They may never see him again, but they'll never forget him. Astride his beautiful pony, Tijan sets off. He may be a little sad, but the road ahead will lead him on to other beautiful cities and countrysides. And the songs and legends of Canada will be full of his new adventures. <laughs>